ex-Olympian who was just expelled this week for a tweet that was at best tasteless, but most people are calling it racist. Her name is Baula Papa Cristo, and what she had to say is this. This is the tweet that got her in trouble. With so many Africans in Greece, at least the West Nile mosquitoes will be eating food from their own home. Uh, that was not very smart. So I think her reaction to her tweet is really what ultimately got her in trouble. Because of course that tweet is not very smart, but maybe expelling her from the Olympics might have been a little tough. Yeah, now look, let's talk about that first. Because I, I, as I look at that tweet, I think, that's a dumb joke, but who cares? I mean, West mm. Nile is in Africa, they're yeah, from Africa. Yeah. yeah, you know, like, I wouldn't have expelled her based on that. But it took, but as we always talk about on the show, context is really important. Right. So what's the context? So the context is this. So once she put out that tweet, of course she alerted the world about her Twitter account and they started looking at tweets from before and after. And one of the things that got her in trouble is that she was supporting these far right leaders in Greece. Uh, one of them, his name is Ilias Kassidiaris, and he was became infamous just a few weeks ago um, for hitting one woman and throwing water at another on a TV show. So she tweets to him, many happy years, be always strong and true. So she's a big supporter, and this was very recently. So that on top of her initial reaction to this tweet was, oh, you know, like things happen, I'm not gonna dwell on it, uh, I'm not gonna dwell on my mistakes, is what ultimately got her in trouble. Because Greece said, you know what, we don't want this person representing us to the world, representing Greece to the world. Olympics is a world event. You have to be a little more sensitive. And I mean, it sucks to go back to your family and go, oh, you know the Olympics, how I, I worked really hard to get there and I tweeted something that got me expelled. That sucks. It does, but look, so here's the thing. If Chris Rock had made the tweet, nobody's having an issue, right? Right. Okay, let's keep it real. For a couple of reasons. Right, exactly. But now, in her case, if you know, the fact that she's a right winger by itself, of course, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Right. But you have to understand the context of Greece. This is a significantly right wing party, meaning that they're very anti immigrants. So when you're f supporting a party that's very anti immigrant, and you're specifically supporting a guy who's actually already hit a woman on camera, et cetera, right. and is, you know, is considered by a lot of people to be a radical, and then you make an anti immigrant joke that's poor and tasteless and et cetera then you become an embarrassment right. that, that it might be too much for your country to deal with. Look, I believe in freedom of speech. If she was an American and this mm -hmm. happened in America, I don't think, I, I still probably wouldn't expel her from the Olympics. What, what would you do? Do you think some punishment is required or to really address that? Uh, as a country, no, I wouldn't punish her. But you know, if her sponsors dropped her, well, that makes all the sense in the world. They're right. using their rights to say, hey, you know what, I, I can't be backing this kind of speech, right. I'm not in favor of that, and then she's going to be in a lot of trouble because in the U.S., the Olympic athletes are apparently sponsored by corporations. They're owned. Yeah, they, it's amazing yeah. that we don't actually fund them, the corporations do. Our right. Corporations have taken over an entire government, including the Olympic team. Absolutely. But in other countries, uh, they are sponsored by their countries, and if the countries find you know that they're not a good representative, right. you know, obviously that's their call. Right, and that's what it comes down to. I mean, I, I think the, the the joke is not very, um, I don't find it that offensive, I think it's stupid, but eventually she did apologize once she got expelled from the Olympics. She felt a lot of pressure. So she says this in her heartfelt apology. I would like to express my heartfelt apologies for the unfortunate and tasteless joke I published on my personal Twitter account. I'm very sorry and ashamed for the negative responses I triggered since I never wanted to offend anyone or to encroach human rights. Yeah, you know, I always put myself in these situations. Not like, what if she had tweeted about my ethnicity or race or nationality, right? right? right. And if she had like done a stupid Twitter joke, like, "Oh, am I going to be com uh, competing against Turkey, or am I going to be eating them on Thanksgiving?" Right. <laughs> <laughs> gobble, gobble, gobble. Which is like half as offensive as this this tweet is. You think so? I mean, I am, I am, I guess, uh, I am African. I don't know if like the West Nile virus is exactly in Ethiopia, or, but like. Yeah, I find it a little offensive. Uh -huh. I just, I think her other tweets define her. Like they eventually, it, this is not just one tasteless tweet, like this is who she is. Yeah, that's interesting. So me, I wouldn't be offended at all, I wouldn't care. But then yeah. if she had 
uh, did a joke about Turkey, they right. probably would promote her as you know, part of the Greek <laughs> right. Olympic team rather than demote her.